Hello, welcome to this week's plan with me. This is for the week of August 17th through the 23rd. And I'm going to be using Hollow Party Fruits, Global Prince Co. So I have the freebie, the glitter sampler, the label sampler, and then the ultimate kit, which comes with the full boxes, the ombre heart checklist, the half boxes page, little things page, headers page, the deco page, bottom washing date covers, the functional page, and then the big icons page. Along with that, I have a couple of other things. I have some half cut headers, header overlays, full box overlays, foil corners, um, bottom washi overlays, and then e uh, extenders, all from Scribble Prince Co. And I also have all my stickers pulled out for the week. So starting off, I am going to be putting down the bottom washi. And then on top of that, I will put down the clear 15 millimeter overlay in hollow um, from Scribble Prince Co. I believe it is in the chunky glitter format, which is an older format of hers for her wiggles. Um, so you can no longer get this, but she does have obviously more hollow things in her shop if you want to check that out. And then on the bottom wash it, I am also going to be putting down my weekend banner right on the top of it. And then on the top, I will be putting down the matte white um, hollow foiled 15 millimeter uh, washi strip from SPC Scribble Prince Co. Um, this was an old wiggle. Sorry if you can hear like car noises outside. I'm sitting by my window, so. But then on top of the little washi strip, I am going to be putting down the date covers from the kit. My date numbers are from Otter Prince Co. And I did just put them down beforehand, that way I don't forget the dates because it's bound to happen. And then, just as a forewarning, I do not really care if my foil colors match. It does not bother me that they do not. So, you'll see in the plan with me, I kind of have all sorts of foil colors come in. I apologize if it bothers you, but it just doesn't really bother me. So, moving on from there, I am putting down my glitter headers. Then I will put down the glitter header overlays, which are hollow foil in the chunky glitter format. Again, from SPC. So I'm using this kit this week to mark my little sister's birthday. She did turn six on Thursday the 20th. We do have a 14 year age gap between us. I am 20. I'll be 21 in uh, January, but she's my only sister, and I love her so much. So I thought I would get a special kit for her, and she loves anything hollow and pink and all of that. So I thought this would be a perfect kit to mark her birthday. And we also did have her birthday party this week on Saturday as well. So it worked out it worked out pretty good. So it, I am now I'm putting down my overlays and then we will move on to the sidebar after that. This week wasn't crazy busy. Um, the weekend got a little busier but my grandma also did go in to the hospital to get a surgery done this week. So you'll see that on Tuesday, that's when she left, um, and she came back home on Thursday. Um, so from Friday on, I was kind of helping take care of her. My mom did come down on Thursday to help me a little bit since it was the first day my um, grandma came back home. but. Um, she did obviously have to leave on Sunday, so I've just been helping taking care of my grandma. 
and then on the weekend it was quite busy just because a bunch of my family did come down my mom obviously um and then my dad and that side of my family for my little sister's party um so my little sister is from my dad and my stepmom um that's why there's kind of a bigger age gap but i do have a lot of siblings <laughs> but she is the youngest so she's the most special and she's the only girl <laughs> sorry if you can hear my dog he saw something out the, outside the window but moving on to the sidebar, I do put down my two glitter headers, my full box, glitter header, half box, glitter header, a book label from the kit, um, glitter header, sorry, habit tracker, I forgot what it was called for a second, glitter header, another full box, and then the last glitter header. Then I will be putting down the um, last of my header overlays on top. And then some full box overlays on both of the full boxes. Um, so the top full box overlay is one of the like chunky glitter hollow ones. It was the last one I had. Again, sorry if you can hear dogs barking. All the dogs in my house like to uh, go crazy when I'm in the middle of things. Um, and then the overlay on the bottom full box is one of the red sparkly heart overlays from Scribble Prince Co., which I will use pretty much for the rest of this week. But moving on to day by day, on Monday, I do put down my half cut header. which I'm taking a very long time to get to. Okay. Um, my header and then a work label from the kit. To mark that I did work this night. And then a little thing with a phone icon. Also from the kit. Um, most of the icons are from the kit, unless I will say otherwise. But essentially, pretty much all the icons are from the kit, so... So a little thing with a phone icon to mark that I did FaceTime my mom this day. And then I do put down a squared off half box with foil corners from Scribble Pens Co. And a big paw print icon and a small at symbol icon to mark that my dog did have a grooming appointment this morning. So I took him to that. And then moving down to the bottom, I do a little thing with a shopping cart icon to mark that I did um, go to PetSmart. So my dog's grooming, my dogs do get groomed at PetSmart, um, but this specific day I did buy stuff from PetSmart and once I dropped my dog off, so that is why I marked that. And then I did put down a half box extender. And on there, I am going to put a label. After I stack up some half cut headers, so I put down the label with a camera icon and a film script that my stepmom had made me to mark that I did film my plan with me. And then from there, Moving, if I hurry up, I don't know what I'm doing. But from there, on the inside, I do put down another little thing with an Instagram icon to mark that I did post on my planner Instagram, which is the same as my channel name, uh, planning underscore with underscore gumi. Um, I will have the handle down below if you will not remember it. Um, feel free to follow me. I do post pictures of all of my spreads. 
and then below that I will stack up some half cut headers and then put down a foiled washi tape stack from Sadie's stickers I believe along with a planning time script from a SPC wiggle obviously to mark that I planned and then I will put down a little thing below that with a box icon to mark that I did get my um, order in from Plana Hannah, which is, uh, she does scripts. Sorry if you can hear my dog scratching his collar. He likes to sit right next to me and make a lot of noise. So anyway, the Plana Hannah order I did get in, and it's all gorgeous. You will see it in my haul um, at the end of the month. And then on the bottom, I do stack up some more half-cut headers, and I put a little clothesline from a Once More With Love sheet with a laundry script on top of it to mark um, that I did fold my laundry. The laundry script is from Scribble Prince Co. That's it for Monday, so moving on to Tuesday. Oh wait, I put down my full box first. I always forget the full box. So I did put down my full box and then a full box overlay. Like I said in the beginning, I am just using the red sparkly heart ones all this week. So I put that one down. And then now moving on to Tuesday, I put my half cut header um, and my day off script that my stepmom had made me a while ago. Along with a little thing with a phone icon to mark that I FaceTimed my mom. And then I did put down a skinny appointment label with the like credit card icon to mark that I did place an order with Sweet Pink Plans. This was her $2 Tuesday for like her Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. So I did place that order. Um, and then below that I did put down another label with a um, laptop icon from Scribble Prince Co., her multicolor line, with an edit script from my stepmom to mark that I did edit my plan with me this day. Oh my god, I just got everything going off today, I'm making noise. Sorry, that was my phone, I got an email. And then, oh my goodness, my dogs. And then below that, I do put down a squared off half box with foil corners and a little, st oh my goodness, with a stethoscope icon um, to mark that my grandma did have her surgery this day. Oh my god, my dog. Why? I don't understand. I'm sorry about all the extra noise. My dogs just don't leave me alone. And they decided they want to make all the noise. Anyway. Um, my grandma surgery. Um, she did have it this day at 3 o'clock. So I did mark that. And then below that I stacked up some half cut headers. And used a book icon with a reading time script from an old Scribble Prints Co. sheet mark that I pretty much read all day and then a little face mask icon with a lazy day script from an SVC wiggle to mark that it was a lazy day after my grandma left in the morning I honestly really kind of just read all day because I was home alone um but I did put down my full box along with um a full box overlay and then moving on to Wednesday I do put down my half cut header and my work label um, from the kit to mark that I obviously worked. And then I will put down another label with a computer icon that my stepmom had made me a while ago. Along with an upload script that my stepmom had also made me to mark that I did upload my plan with me on Wednesday. And then below that I will use a appointment label 
with the SP logo icon to mark that I did by, um, it was, um, new releases Wednesday, um, first couple of months ago, so I did buy some stuff, the wiggle and some new releases, I'm sure. So I put that down, and then moving on to the bottom, I did put down a little thing with a, um, foiled computer icon from Sweeping Plants. If this is really old, she does not sell these anymore. Um, but I did use that to mark. I typed up some stories. Um, and then a little thing with a iPad um, icon from Once More With Love to mark that I did draw on my iPad this night. And then I stacked up some half-cut headers and put a house icon along with a Bachams script that my stepmom had made me. Um, Bachon is my other grandma. Um, they live in the same uh, town. So I do visit my Bachon a couple of times a week. So I can mark that. And then a little thing with a heart icon to mark that I FaceTime my mom. And then I did put down a full box extender. Yes, I know my full box is very crooked, but I wasn't about to try and pull it up to fix it. I just left it. But from there, I did put down another label with a Edward and Bella character bean uh, from Sweeping Plans, along with a Twilight script that my stepmom had made me a while ago. To mark that I did watch Twilight this night. They are on Amazon Prime right now. So it works out. Um, and then a little thing with a little movie clapper icon. Along with another little thing. With a TV icon. The first little thing is to mark that I watched The Last Airbender. You know, the movie remake of like Avatar, like the live action, you know, the one that's really bad that everyone complains about. I did watch that because it's on Netflix. You know what I didn't realize is the guy who plays Sokka is, um, plays Jasper in Twilight. Didn't realize that. Uh, so that was weird that I figured that out. I was like shocked. Um, and then the second little thing is to mark that I did watch Feel the Beat, which is a Netflix original. Um, so I did watch that. And then I did put down a drink and french fry icon with a sonic script from Skull Prince Co. And then on the top, I did just put down another full box along with all of my overlays. And then moving on to Thursday, I did put down my day off script. And then a third box, a pretty sure is that size, with some foil corners and a at symbol icon to mark that I did have a dentist appointment this morning. I did get some of my fillings done. Um, I haven't been to the dentist in a while, so this year was the year that I started going and get getting all of my fillings and stuff that I need to get done done. So that is what was happening. I have one more appointment and then I'm done with all my fillings and all of that. So, but I had a dentist appointment this morning and then I did put down another little thing, which I will use a foiled donut icon from an SPC food doodle sheet to mark that my mom did bring me donuts from my favorite donut place um, where she lives. It's my it's my absolute favorite donut place ever. So she when she visits me, she does bring them down for me. So I did get those, and then I did use a quarter box with a car icon to mark that my mom and my brother did drive down this day. And then I used a squared off half box with foil corners and a present icon along with a little um, HPD. Uh, deco piece um, that's supposed to be like balloons 
to remark that it was my little sister's birthday. Like I said in the beginning, she did turn six, so did mark that. And then I will be putting down a wax extender on the top. This full box actually went down a lot smoother than my last one did. It went down a lot straighter. So I was very happy about that. I always have trouble with the uh, full box extenders. Just I can never get the full box on straight. But it is what it is. So I did do that. And then on the inside of the extender, I did put down a little thing with a car icon to mark that I did get gas this day. And then another little thing with a little computer icon from my stepmom to mark that I typed up stories again. And then little thing with a little like asterisk star icon to mark that I did prep my school planner a little bit this day. Um, my school was, was, my school started on Monday the 24th so I was preparing for all of my classes I am a junior in college so um, things can get quite busy so I just make sure I have my planner and stuff all prepped and ready to go beforehand and then above that I did stack up some half cut headers and then put a little drink and french fry icon with a Culver's script which is a custom from Whimsical Plans. And then on top of that, I did put down another label, which with a house icon um, to mark that my grandma did come home from the hospital this day. And I did put down a little thing with a little TV icon to mark that I did watch Journey to the Mysterious Island um, with my brother and my mom. And then another little thing with a heart icon to mark that I FaceTime my dad, obviously to tell my sister happy birthday. And then I stacked up some half cut headers and put down a grocery cart icon with a Walmart script that my stepmom had made me, obviously to mark that I went to Walmart. But, and then I will put down my overlay, my full box overlay, and then move on to Friday. So on Friday, I do put down a work label to mark that I did work this night. And then a little thing with a foiled little star slash asterisk icon um, to mark that I did prep my school planner some more. Um, the foiled icons that I'll be using are from Scribble Plans Co. I have like the clear ones and then the matte white ones, so they kind of interchange a little bit. And then below that, I did use a, I think a three quarter box. I can never tell the size difference, but. I with foil corners along with this little crying foiled clear crying little emoji from Coffee Monsters Co. which I got as like a freebie with a paw print icon to mark that I did stop by work to say goodbye to one of our customers. I do work at like a boarding facility, like a dog boarding facility, um, and one of our longtime customers. Um, was sick and was going to be um, put to sleep to end suffering so his owner did bring him by to say goodbye to all of us so I did put that down and then I did put down a half box extender and then on the top I stacked up some 
half cut headers and put down a shopping cart icon, a foiled one, along with another Walmart script, obviously to mark that I had to go to Walmart. I did forget things the, uh, Thursday, so I had to go back Friday to pick it all up. And then I used a washi strip with a little foiled uh, ramen doodle from Scribble Pins Co. to mark that I obviously ate ramen. And then on the extender, I did put down a little appointment label with a foiled eggs and bacon icon from Scribble Pins Co. food doodle sheet from a wiggle to mark that I did have breakfast with my mom. And then a little thing with a dollar bill icon to mark that I did buy some Creativity Inc. new releases this day. It was a big Halloween release for her, so I bought some of that. And then I used a quarter box on the inside to mark with a foiled car icon to mark that my, oh my gosh, my dad and uh, family drove down this day. And then I did put down the half cut header on the crease. I didn't realize it when I was putting it down, but it's too late to pick it up, so I had to just leave it. But I did stack up, uh, put a little thing down with a Instagram, foiled Instagram icon to mark that I did post on my planner Instagram. And then I stacked up the rest of the half cut headers and put a foiled house icon with a Bachon's script from my stepmom to mark that I obviously went to my Bachon's house. And then I do put out the full box. This is the full box that was on the bottom washi sheet, so it kind of has nothing on it. It's just like the background. So I did find this overlay, which is like of a gold hollow big puffy dress from Sweeping Plans, which was, and the sheet was part of a collab, I believe Adorably Amy Designs, but I did put that down and I did put another one of the heart overlays on top of that. I thought it was really pretty. My little sister did have a kind of big princess type dress so I thought it would work pretty well but other than that um moving on to Saturday I did put down my work label along um with a washi strip with a dollar sign icon to mark that I did make an order with chasing chasing chills um she has like a bunch of Harry Potter stuff and she was having a sale so this is my first time buying from her, but I'm very excited to get all of my things. Um, and then below that I did use a, like a skinnier washi strip with a star icon, filled icon, from an old SBC wiggle to mark that I did draw this day while I was at work. Actually, I did draw some things. And then I stacked up half cut headers and put a foiled house icon from the Matt White SBC Wiggle with a Bachons script from my stepmom. And moving down to the bottom, I did stack up some half cut headers. Oh, I did put down a full, uh, full box, a half box extender as well with a half box on the top. But I did um, stack up some half cut headers. And then on top of the on top of them I did use a little french fry and drink foiled icon from the white SPC wiggle with a chick-fil-a script also from SPC to mark that I did have chick-fil-a my aunt did come down um, to my uh, Bachon's house for my little sister's party and so she lives um, uh, on her way, she passed Chick-fil-A, so she did pick up some of that food for all of us. Um, in the town I live in, we do not have a Chick-fil-A. The ch closest Chick-fil-A is like an hour and a half away, so I don't have it often. But she did bring it down this day, so we did have it. And then I did put down a little thing with a dollar bill icon to mark that I did also make an order with Wonton and a million for her Harry Potter things. It was like a Harry Potter sticker day. <laughs> me 
and then another uh, washi strip with a uh, Instagram icon to mark that I did a post on my planner Instagram again and then I stacked up uh, half cut headers on the bottom half and used a little foiled icon that my stepmom had made me like of people playing board games with a game night script from Scribble Prince Co. A wiggle and then the half box I did put foiled corners along with a big foiled birthday cake um, from an SBC food doodle sheet to mark that we did have my little sister's party and then I did put down the full box um, and then moving on to Sunday I did put down my work label along with um, a bunch of half cut headers so I stacked a bunch of them up and then I used a foiled house icon from an SPC Wiggle with a Bachoms script um, from my stepmom. To mark that I went to my Bachoms house that morning. And then I stacked up some more half cut headers and put down another one of the little gaming, um, like game night icons from my stepmom with another game night script. Um, it was technically a game day. We played games in the morning, but I only have game night scripts, so. I'll take what I can get. Either way, we played board games. Um, and then I used a washi strip with a little star slash asterisk icon, a foiled one, to mark that I did, again, prep some more of my school planner. Then moving on to the bottom, I used a quarter box with a car icon to mark that my mom and my brother did leave. And then another quarter box to mark that my dad and my stepmom left. My younger siblings are staying with my bachelor, um, because they, uh, my dad and my stepmom um, are packing up their house because they are moving. My dad is being stationed somewhere else. He is in the army. So they wanted to pack everything up with all the movers and stuff without little kids. So they left them with my grandma. And then I did use another one of the little Bell and Edward beans um, from Sweet Bean Plans and a Twilight New Moon script from my stepmom to mark that I watched New Moon. Then I did put down the half box. And for the overlays, because it is like a seam, like a double box, I did just cut one overlay, like corner to corner, in half. And then I did uh, just put them down on either side of the corner, so it looks like just kind of one big thing, instead of having separate full box overlays on either side. So here's what it looks like, um, not filled out, but I'll show you what it looks like when I do fill it all out. So here's what it looks like all filled out. So I did stick a bunch of the deco on the bottom because it looked a little plain. And then on the sidebar, I did put down a little hard-eyed foiled munchkin from Once More With Love, along with a family time script um, from an old Pink Planet Designs kit. And then a little a knife and fork icon on the habit tracker to track um, feeding my grandma's fish while she was gone. <laughs> but that is it for this week. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I will see you again next week. Bye.